So, you know, I didn't make the espresso, but these guys know why I should have made an espresso. <laughs> yes, you should. <laughs> He's going to need it. He's Hi, need everybody. It. <laughs> uh, this is Joe, and welcome to Anachronic Comics Espresso Mail Call. We have three mailmen here tonight. We have to my immediate left, we have Steve. The voice. Why? How you doing tonight, Steve? Excellent, Joe. Thanks for having me back. Okay. And diagonally below, we have the one, the only, from Flowers Comics, Milt. Milt, the man Ooh. of many tremendous comic books. He says he has nothing good tonight. So that means it's probably 100 times better than anything I'll show you. And yep. then right below, Mr. Mark. Wait, we got to go that way. What's your oh, Andrews. That's right. Mr. Mark Andrews. How are you, Mark? I'm good. Thanks, Joe, for having me again. Well, you're doing well. I didn't ask you how you were doing. I'm, I'm doing well. I'm doing good. I'm asking Milton now because I oh. forgot to ask. Oh. How are you, Milton? I'm ready to go. I'm doing well. I'm doing really good. Yes. So let's see who's here tonight. Perfect. Uh, to watch this craziness. And listen, I'm not taking responsibility, okay? If you fall down a rabbit hole because of what some of these guys do, I'm not responsible for it. Now, I just want to say one thing. Before the show, some of these guys were showing off some of the stuff, and we already have two rabbit holes we're going down. Milt's going down one, I'm going down another. So anyway, so let's see who's here today. <laughs> All right. Yes, Las Cruces, how you doing, my friend? First as usual. Trev, the shipping guru, who asked if he could be on one of these in the future. And I said, damn right, Trev. Damn I right you can be on one of them. So we'll wait to get to, uh, get him on one of these. Let's see. Steve, you'll see. Okay. And here's Wellbor. Thank you. Man, so many Canadians, so little time. You know, it's just like crazy. All right. There's not that many you, others. What's no. that? <laughs> I'm sorry. We have a small I'm population. A little, I'm a little silly tonight. Small. Oh, here he is. The Jackson Roy Quirk. Yes, Joe Steve Bohr, Les Cruces. Whoa, that sounds like a bad law firm. All right. Let's <laughs> what else do we have here? Tina. Tina, good to see you, Tina. What? Trev, hey, Jesus. mate. Woo. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's going on here, Trev, people? What's hey, going hey. on? This is a family show. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Take it ease. All right. <laughs> For evil Mike. Mike. Yes, we are all fine. I am more fine than usual tonight. I think you can tell. I am more fine than usual. All right, let's see. Who else? Brian, <laughs> LCS. They call him the godfather. I just yes. want to tell you one thing. There's other godfathers that might be better than you. So I just want you to be careful using that name too profusely. You know what I mean? Good to see you, Brian. Thanks for showing up, really. Man, right. give away your alter ego pretty quick there, Joe. That wasn't me. I could <laughs> just, I could just, that man would do. I could just imitate him really well. <laughs> Paul, psychedelic comments. Good to see you tonight, Paul. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it, my friend. I appreciate it. Yes, Sith Lordly Spine Ticks. Yes, yes, yes. Spine Ticks. You just went over like, you know, what, a gazillion subscribers? I think over 13,000 subscribers. The guy oh, has the crap. formula for wow. growth. It's just amazing. And he's happy to share it with you, all right? Uh, of course, I haven't asked him, but I mean, he's happy to share it with you. And the guy's just been growing tremendously. Saturday night spine ticks. I watch usually between a half an hour and an hour of the show. The problem is that it takes about 40 to 45 minutes just to say hello to everybody in the chat. He's got that many people that watch Holy it. Cow. Amazing, amazing. Scrolling, scrolling. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. scrolling. Uh, Seth, 11. Thank you, Seth. Yeah, we have four G's tonight. Yes, yes, very good, very good. You got Brian, you got Spine Ticks. Why don't we sure we catch everybody right here, right off the bat here? And anybody else that shows up, we'll say hello to, of course. I think we're good. I think we're good. So thank you, everybody. So we're here at Espresso Mail Call, which is the time of the month when we all put together what we may have gotten in the mail or potentially otherwise during the month. But before we begin... We thought we were going to begin, right? I tricked you all, okay? Mm -hmm. Before we begin, uh, I'm going to share my screen, and I want to acknowledge the members of the um, of the channel, the channel members. These are wonderful individuals that 
will clearly go to the good place <laughs> at the end of their time here on earth because <laughs> they are giving up $1.99 a month as a channel member and all of the money goes to two worthwhile charities. We have St. Jude's Research Hospital uh, for Children with Cancer, which does a tremendous job looking to cure childhood cancer. Um, go to their website. You can take a look and see some of the successes they've had. Some older people now that were saved, their lives were saved by St. Jude's. It's certainly a worthwhile organization, I believe. And so they get half of the money. The other half goes to Tunnel to Towers Foundation. These are tremendous people. It started by a family that lost one of their brothers in the World Trade Center collapse back in, in, uh, in 2001. They started this program to help the families of fallen first responders you know, by paying off their mortgages. They help the families of um, Gold Star families to also pay off their mortgages. They have, uh, if you have a, um, a veteran with a, a disability, they build smart homes for them to take care, help, help them have as normal life as possible with their disabilities. And they also just started having, um, renovating old hotels and making small apartments for homeless veterans. One of the things they just started saying, we can't have veterans on the street, all right? And so, and these hotels or whatever they have, they're actually like small condos. They actually have support people there for them, both psychological support, medical support. So you see, this takes a lot of money. And so we may not be giving them a lot of money, but we're helping this out. And so the, I would just want to acknowledge Tina Carrington, Dead Man, Mark Andrews is here tonight, Chuck Hensey, Trev the Shipping Guru, Gary B, the casual comic guy, Fantastic Comics and Art, Brian LCS, a comic bookworm, Richard Veith, Pretty Fly for a Filipino guy, Rob Fat Stacks of Comics, Cliff on Comics, Milt Miller, and Dave Draggy. Dave is a good friend of mine down here in Florida, uh, and we actually might be um, putting together a couple of shows. He's a big comic book guy that I just happened to meet. <laughs> Terrific. So I just want to make sure that we acknowledge these people before we begin. And if you have an interest in helping out, um, please do so. Just click on the little thing below. The it says join. Uh, watch the video. And if you think it's worthwhile, we'd appreciate having you as part of the uh, part of the membership. Thanks. I did that pretty good, don't you think? And you even under and school, thank you, Joe, school. for doing that. Yeah. Well, that's fine. I'm, I'm really happy to do that. All right, so let's see. Nobody else has come in as far as I can. Uh, I uh, can Gary B. Gary B. showed up. Oh, Gary B. showed up. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Gary B. Yes. And speaking of Gary B., Gary B. is. I might as well do this now. Hold on a second. Oh, <laughs> this is terrific. This is before we start with the uh, thing. So Gary B. As you know, Gary B. has is now an author. He has started a. Um, he has written a book. And I'm trying to get his uh, thing here. Hold on a step. There it is. Yeah, there's the book. I have it too, but let's see. Was it 3.5 this book? I didn't know that. Yeah, it's a it yellow right label right? too. It's been signed. <laughs> All right, here it is. Let me get it up here. So Gary, come on, Gary. All right, here we go. Gary is going to be on this channel on Monday. Gary is doing his book tour right now. All right. So I did buy the book. You see, I got my own copy here. I have read it. I will read it again. I've been putting together some really solid questions for Gary. I'm going to make him sweat. You know, <laughs> I understand he's been interviewed in a couple of other shows already. And they were really kind of, you know, powder puff interviews like, Gary, you're so nice. You're so good. How did you think of this? This is so fantastic. Well, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. You know, I remember I'm going to be really tough on Gary. I'm going to go down into the weeds with him, find out what makes him tick, you know? So the Gary B interview, it's something you're going to have to watch. It's six o'clock Eastern time on Monday. So Gary, thank you for being here and uh, get a good night's sleep before, because I'm going to put you on the hot seat. No, I guess I can't say that, right? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a tough interview, but it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Okay. So, with that said, 
I don't see anybody else come in. No. All right. With that said, let's start off. Steve, you're going to start us? No, Marcus. Mark, you're going to start. <laughs> it's your show, Joe. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> uh, He's going to have a hell of a hangover tomorrow, <laughs> folks. Hell of a hangover. Mark, take it All away. Right, Mark. Okay. Kick it into there, brother. Okay. Thanks, Cliff. Joe. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Cliff is here. Cliff. I just hey, I just gave you a thumbs hey, up for being a, a channel member. Thank you for showing up, Cliff. Appreciate it. Wow. Okay, go ahead. This will be interesting. So, hey, thanks for having me, Joe. So, uh, to start off, you remember I showed, um, I, I don't know if it was, it was a while ago, I showed you this little book. Oh, I love that book. So, I showed you this, right? Can't even and, fit. and I was kind of intrigued because these things came out in uh, 1978, and there was a companion that came out with those big coloring books. So I, I went hunting. And. Oh, my God. Look I at that. that is, that's cool. So what in the heck there, is that? Is that like a sideways book? Yeah, there's two full stories oh, in here. Wow. That you wow, could, that's, that's I awesome. like that. That you could color. So the stories in this one is uh, Attack of the Rhino and the Leader Strikes. So these came out in 1978, they don't run the same time. They came with uh, markers. You could color in the uh, cartoons. And uh, Mark, please send it to me so I can color them. Come on. Yeah, I still yeah, have my yeah. Crayola 64 <laughs> set. <laughs> anyway, so I was pretty happy to find this because it was pretty hard to, to locate, but I found one. And uh, Fantastic. There you go. That is, that is really cool. I want to thank Mike for becoming a channel member. Thank you, Mike, very much. I appreciate it. Nice. Way to go. So because I kind of got into that vein of these aren't really comics, my first round, Joe, is kind of going to be comic related. So um, so to start off with, I found these um, at one of my LCSs that I attend and, and frequent and dig through bins. So there's two of these. And these are the, oops, sorry. What are they? Oh, stickers? Oh, the the, secret the Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars sticker books from 19 the same year that Secret Wars came out. Where do you find these up? things in unused condition? I know. I wow. get. I, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so there's two. There's there's the. Uh, I'll get them out of the plastic so they don't. So there's this one. This one is mm -hmm. about the secret of Spider-Man's uh, shield from Secret Wars, and the idea was they have all these these stickers in right. them and the on the inside is the story and then you put the stickers in the story and you put the stickers in the story that's cool and then you can color them that in is, that's cool. yeah so there you go awesome. get that so 64 is, piece crayon set out there yeah so 1984 same year that the secret wars came out so marvel was trying to do stuff like that to i you know it just it's gets you a younger audience and gets you or a really old old dude who likes collecting cool things so that's very cool i was very pleased to find those unused were they in your lcs old, un, unused unused yeah they were in my brantford lcs wow Steve. how many lcs's cool. do you go to mark um i refuse to uh, to <laughs> acknowledge that question on the grounds that someone else might watch this anyway be well, before, you do, before you go further just want to acknowledge Trev loves your Alex Ross background, Mark. Oh, well, yeah. I think, yeah, I'm a, a bit of an Alex Ross fan. So all of the Timeless Heroes ones are up there. And at some point, if I'm doing another show, I'll swap them out. And I have all the Timeless villains. Mm. So good stuff. Okay. Okay. I like to swap them out. So staying on the same vein of kind of unique things that Marvel did, um, I I found this one, too. Oh my god. <laughs> so this one it's good this, stuff. This one's really cool. So they're like they're each one is a postcard. Is a postcard. So like oh, you, you know usable postcards. Yeah, yeah. And uh and it's kind of cool because there's really neat like wow. Good for Valentine's Day. It's coming up there. It can be Valentine's yeah, no. Day. You're going to send me one? Mark, you're going to send me one of those? Uh, no, no, Steve. Um, Mark, I, I got to tell you, I have that. 
<laughs> yeah, I see. I knew you would melt of anybody. That, that's melt a, of everything. No. What really disappoints me is Howard the Duck's not in here. Yeah. Oh so, man. No, he's not. He's not in this one. I haven't. So, I, didn't, well, I have, haven't looked at it in years. Uh, yeah. Let me acknowledge uh, Comics Journey five dollars. Thank you. It goes straight that's to right. two fifty oh, a piece. Nice. That is two thing. Anytime nice. I see an old Mad magazine, so that's. So, Steve, this is uh, because you have the Mad Magazine up there. Look at there that. Go. Excellent. Well done. Thank you, CJ. Really appreciate it. All right. And so then and then I found this one. This is the uh, Mighty Marvel Team of Thrillers from 1983. So uh, these are kind of neat because these team, team ups are not all of them are reprints of the original stories. Like there's a couple in here that are unique to the team up uh, trilogy. And some are pretty but like they're. You know, like there's uh, Daredevil and Spider-Man and Red Sonja and Spider-Man, which were in Marvel Team Up, but there's Thor and Silver Surfer that wasn't and mm -hmm. and some other cool ones. That's kind of a neat. That was, uh, you know, back when they're starting, just starting out with the graphic novels. What, what year was that? 1983. Like, uh, 83. 83. And then um, probably the last one maybe for this round because Milt, I was worried and concerned that Howard wasn't in oh, that one. <laughs> so I, I went looking and I found this one. There you oh, go, man. The mazes. The yep. mazes. So this one is like um, pretty cool. So it's, it's pretty neat. The, uh, the mazes, it's all black and white. So this None is 1970, 1978. Oh yeah, this is unused again. Wow, again, wow. So so they're like they have stories, and then at the end of the story is a maze that is you have to set a timer and you have to solve. Holy save, crap! Save the hero <laughs> at the end of the maze. Wow, I mean, those are so cool. I like. So it. what's kind of fun, and just for you, Milt, because I know it will mean a lot to you. There you go. Howard the Duck. There he is. Awesome. That's definitely the best page in the book. Well, and it's interesting because it addresses the fact that Howard can't swim. Oh, out of all. <laughs> Mark, Mark, I got a great idea. What? Let's do a series of shows where every show you get a maze, you just show it, and we try to make it through the maze with a, with a black magic marker. How about that? Yeah, just draw right on your screen. <laughs> um, uh, no. no. Anyway, <laughs> I think that would, I think that would be a big draw for people. You know? I think they might as well watch paint dry. Joe is being more excited about that. Anyway, that's a those they're they're pretty cool. Like nice. there's, there's yeah. neat little stories in them. All the mazes are different. Like there's some like the Black Panther maze. Look at that one. Oh my god, that is incredible! Holy wow. shit! <laughs> <laughs> so you want to photocopy it, then you can do it. Yeah, if yeah. you photocopy it, then you can do it. So I, you know, not comics by any means but there's comics in them um, the comic, comic related they're really yep. cool hard to find I love them. they're great unused yeah. mark and, i love them all that's oh, nice that's fantastic fantastic mark so yeah. that's my first round excellent uh okay i think it's milked <laughs> okay <laughs> um I, I didn't buy a whole lot or get a whole lot this past okay. month uh but i had people send me stuff that I really like. I a lot of people know that I'm a, a Dave Stevens fan, which yes, well, now, who's not? Now a lot of people have just joined in, but uh, what they uh, she sent me this, which I really like. Oh Steve yes, Pat. excellent. Oh, that's that's god, a really that's good. Oh one. my god, number one, fantastic. Is, it's pretty cool. Oh wait, and before you do that, yes, sir. Look at my phone. Yeah. Holy crap. There you go. <laughs> but uh, this is, I didn't have this one, so that was nice. And it's in yeah, pretty good shape. Oh, nice. and then, uh, it's kind of neat. Yeah, kind of neat. Then number two, wow. which isn't Dave Stevens, but, you know, it's neat to have all Probably of them. That. And then the last issue, which was uh, uh, number three. So yeah. Right. Nice. nice. Uh, Gotta collect but, them all. And then I happened to find this downstairs when I was before I came up here, and uh, like I said, here was the original 
uh, Dave Stevens Planet Comics. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I really like this homage uh, from Sabrina Comics by Dave Perron. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, that's cool. cute. That's kind of cool. I usually don't like homages, but uh, they did I it well. That was kind of neat. Oh, she also sent me this, which is kind of nice. Oh, uh, that is a good cover, too. I like uh, that one. one. Yep. Yeah. But uh, as you can guess, I, I've actually got a bunch of those. <laughs> but this hers came it's with the, the uh, oh, oh, 3D three. glasses. Oh, oh nice. nice. Glasses. Yep. Oh, and then uh, I also had from the seduction of the innocent, the uh, the Bernie R number two, which was the uh, Bernie Wrightson cover. I found. Yeah, oh, man, that's an wow. awesome yeah. cover. That is a good. That's a good cover. Um, what else here? Oh, more Dave Stevens stuff. She sent me. Uh, this is a three issue uh, Betty Page uh, mini series. That uh, look at the, that. It's beautiful. Number one. Number two, nice little bondage yeah, cover. You can see them all or not, but uh, and the third one, which uh, we can see, we can see them. Milt Joe probably can't, but <laughs> move it back a little bit, Milt. Move it back a little bit. Just, yeah, okay, good. There you go. <laughs> I can see it now. <laughs> I'm not moving it, Joe. I'm not moving it. <laughs> stop, stop. It's stationary, man. It's your internet <laughs> or your eyes. <laughs> Oh, and I, uh, I had, I, I collect a lot of Stan Lee stuff, and so I had this. Oh, cool. And uh, nice. On a whatnot, I, uh, I picked up this one, which was the uh, sketch edition, which oh, I'd yeah. never seen oh, nice. before. No. Wow. Now in black and white. Yeah, which is kind of neat. Uh, what else do I got here? Uh, oh. More, more Dave Stevens. I received. Oh, Johnny Quest. There Johnny you go. Quest, yeah. the, who was Amico. somebody just mentioned Johnny Quest in that? Who was it? Somebody said it here. Not yeah, sure. I got a few of those, uh, oh, here it is. Yep. Yep. He said like, Johnny no. Quest. You see that? This is no. one of my favorite uh, Dave Stevens. I received. Milt's on a roll right now. We got to let him roll first. Yeah, I'm almost done here. Yep. <laughs> Which is kind of neat. And then now this is the Dave Stevens that I. Uh, Let's just say any kids in the audience, you know, take them away from the screen. Oh, uh -oh. there we go. But this is right. Dave Stevens from uh, 96, which is a nice. little bit, little bit different. But, uh, <laughs> a little different. <laughs> a little risque. Yeah. If you're into the black leather and that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that supposed to be? <laughs> uh, that's Venus Domino. That's the character's name in the book. On the book. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and then uh, Holy one God. other book I actually got from uh, Bird City Comics exclusive. Oh, there's a new great ones. There's a new series I call Crave. Yep. Uh, by Image, yep. I believe. I know the yep. book you're going to show. And uh, they did a Carla Cohen. Carla Cohen, who I, I really like her work. She did a homage to uh, Torchy, uh, which I actually have the original Torchy from 1952, I believe, number three. Or maybe it's 49. I forget now. But uh, yep. I love the homage. Yep. yep. Yeah, that's Torchy. Uh, that's all I'm going to go through right now. Uh, Not a particularly that's good enough. story, Grave. Yeah, I think you said they didn't do much, Milt. Well, I mean, these these were all gifts, and I greatly appreciate them. You know who you are out there. Um, I do have a couple Howard the Duck things coming up on the second round, and uh, some all cool right. things. But let me let me show you this. This is <laughs> pick this out of the snack. This is a uh, encore. Encore. I homages uh, to this. Look, wait, wait. Trev says he needs a cigarette now. <laughs> well this is uh okay well this will set everything back down this is uh, action number one homage superman number uh 124 from 97 i uh i collect uh action one homages 
they're they're out there um you know a couple spider-man and but uh, i never saw those i never saw this before hmm. i happened to run into it about two weeks ago in my lcs mm -hmm. nice um uh, i mean it's no big deal but it's cool. kind of neat okay but it's certainly uh, oil. what's that i said that certainly poured the oil on the water just you know from the dave steven covers it's, everybody can calm down now i know huh. uh no more girly covers the rest what? of you I'm no, sorry. No, no part two I, milt i don't believe you milt that's the only reason i bring you on this show milt Okay, there is one. Oh, yeah, well, okay, but <laughs> there's a there's a David Nakayama uh, Wonder Woman cover that's so sexy, and that'll be coming up. All right, good. I'm glad there's something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey Steve. Whew. I know it's a little warm in here too. It's not the lights. <laughs> I am really glad that I got my uh, order in from uh, my comic shop, or I'd have not a whole lot to show here. But I won an auction. That's why I got this one up here because it kind of goes hand in hand with it. Because you know I got to scratch that itch with my uh, books oh, here. Oh, look at that! Oh, so nice. I won this one at the auction on my comic shop, and of course it's a three five to match my number four, so three and four now. Nice, so I'm slowly nice. working my way through one of my goals to get the all twenty three of the comic books all graded in CBCS. Hopefully in, in around the same grades. I mean, I, I don't mind if they're higher, but just so happy to have that one in the collection now with it. Well, of course, with all the raws too, because, you know, I like my raws. Yep. And yeah, we got to shout out Gary because yes, my book came in today. Mm -hmm. And yes, I read it. And whoo, damn, <laughs> just like with Milt's uh, Can you stuff. imagine reading this book whew. and then watching Milt? I mean... <laughs> Okay, yeah. you need to step that back just a little bit, Joe, because I'm not sure where you're going. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, and there's our man on the Watch back. tomorrow. Tomorrow, 6 p.m. I mean, not tomorrow. Monday. What's today? It's Friday. Monday, 6 p.m. Gary B. on this channel going to be asked some questions about his book. Cross-examined by a professional New York That's lawyer. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm preparing it as a cross-examination. And he's wow. going to be sweating like the uh, character in that book and a bunch of the characters in that book <laughs> that are sweating. <laughs> Another oh, one that I got. Okay. Nice. We got this a question for you. With. This one I'm happy with because it's an upgrade from the copy that I have. And well, what, what's the number or the date? Um, this one here is from uh, 1966. It's number 64. And the significance of this book is it's the very first mad fold-in, which was a, a question that I got stumped on on one of the, I think it was Gary B's channel there when he asked me, he goes, Where, when was the first fold-in? And I just completely blanked. <laughs> you think so, I should know this stuff, but this have, one is the first fold-in. To, uh, to his question, to CJ's question? Do you collect the nostalgic? But yeah, because there, those were inside the uh, the specials, mm -hmm. and those ones were a pain too. Because some people would take them out, and they weren't really designed to be removed from those books. Because then they just fell apart. But uh, yeah, I have all of them, and then I have out of the books, and then I have ones that they're still in the book. And I, you know, because I'm a completionist, that oh, my brain is very happy with that, <laughs> right? <laughs> and today, well, if you guys had seen my um unboxing for new comic book day i had a little bit of a rant going on just a little just a little right. bit of a rant because i was annoyed with my lcs and i'm freaking done with them now oh boy i'm moving on what did but they do I did get oh, my you got book it. finally yay i didn't get the a cover so i had to go to my comic shop down in texas there and order the a book so it's rushing on its way from texas to go flying over our wall but I did pick up this really cool one, too. It's a nice uh, B cover by uh, Lucio Barillo. Got to say those Barillo. Italian words. Mm. Right? Nice. I didn't know he did one. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's nice. the B cover. And then this one here is the J. Lee cover. So I had to have those. And then the ones that I ordered from my comic shop is the A cover. And then it's uh, cover I, I think it is. It's the gold one with just 
this logo in the center of it, which I thought was pretty cool. Very cool. And just a couple more, and then I'll finish my round here. So I'm on Evil Mike's show. He's doing um, the Gunslinger. We're doing. Yeah. The, we're going through the Stephen King books. So the, they had the comic books as well. And I've been going through the series. I only need four left. There's 19 series, and there's like a short box basically full. So I've, yeah, I've rounded got out. I've got most. And the artwork's amazing because, again, Jay Lee, right? Jay Lee did a lot of the artwork for this stuff. It's nice. So I got a couple of those. And then from my comic shop as well, had to get some of my uh, guilty pleasures, which is oh. my Grimm's Ghost Stories. Grimm's ghost Stories. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm starting to run down on these too. There's not a whole lot left that I need. So it's, yeah. uh-oh. But that's okay. I got Mark up here to open up new rabbit holes. You'll so find worried. something else. You'll find I'm not something. worried. It's all good. Uh, here's an oddball one. It's a DC book, Superman and the New Doom Patrol. And the significance of this one is it's the very first appearance of um, Ambush Bug. Oh, which yeah. is a DC character that I like. So I had to get the first appearance of him, and it was cheap. It's only a few bucks. And then the last one for this round, going with my G.I. Joe, because now that image is doing the G.I. Joe, I had to go back to IDW, and I've got a new rabbit hole because I need to get 155 of their books. And I started with the very last one, which is issue number 300, which had just finished at IDW, and then image is now taken over the... But it's Larry Hama doing the, the book, so... Right. So now that's a big rabbit hole that'll take me... <laughs> <laughs> Who knows how long to get the other hundred and fifty? But Steve, if you didn't have these rabbit holes, you'd just be an alcoholic on the on the you know, homeless. Yeah, on exactly, the or you know, into other weird things. <laughs> All right, Joe, take it away. Is Joe bringing up alcohol? Mm -hmm. okay. No, I don't. I know. Why. I have no idea why. I, I don't either. <laughs> Do I have to go next? Yep. No. <laughs> <laughs> Mark has spoken. You must. Bring it home, Joe. Even if you don't hold up a book, Joe, we just want to listen to you. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I think I'm clear as a bell. Don't forget. <laughs> don't forget. Oh, no. Yeah. Nope. All right. So uh, about three years ago at an LCS up here in Fort Myers, I got a copy of Static Number One, which the guy said, oh, yeah, it's like an aid or whatever like that. And he, he wanted like $48. And I think I got, got it for $40. So I cleaned it, pressed it. I sent it into CGC uh, and I, it came back a 9.8. So I was pretty happy with that. Then I sent it oh. to have a, a, um, Dennis Cowens who did the cover to sign it. So now it's signed as well. So, but that was a, a direct copy. <laughs> so I happened to find, and it's, it's the variable, right? So I happened to find the Newsstand variable. Oh, nice. Right. It's yeah. in pretty oh, wow. good shape. Uh, again, the guy bought it from says it's a, he says, oh, it's probably only about a 5.0. Wow. <laughs> I haven't done my magic with that. I'm looking at it and I think it might be closer to an eight, but wow. I might send it in. I might not just so I have the, you know, the, both copies together, but this is pretty nice. good. So I'm happy I found this. Now there's a cover that I've always looked at and um, for some reason wanted to buy, wanted to have. And uh, I just never came across it or every time I saw it, it was like a ton of money or something like that. But I finally found one that was in decent, that was a decent amount and in very good shape. And it's JSA classified number one. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, you know, so I always cover. wanted to Power girl. Add a cover. I always wanted to get it. Uh, I'm not sure what the grade is and what it's done, but it's in really good shape. And I take a look at it when I get back to New York. See if I could clean it up. At least I thought, and I thought at the time I might send it in, but now I'm not, and you'll see why. Some Adam news goodness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you'll see why in a second. The other thing, the other ones that I got, I got a couple of uh, now and then. Um, there is a uh, in the mall not too far from here. Uh, there's a, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go there to take a look. I've gotten some Golden Age and good Silver Age comic books there. But every now and then I go on um, my comic shop and just look and see whether they have any Golden Age comic books 
that you know might be like you know one point ohs or that, that are relatively cheap because yeah. I'm a cheap guy, you know. So I like to have some of these, but I don't necessarily want to pay a lot of money for them. You know, low grade is better than no grade. Yeah. So the first one I got is Captain Marvel Jr. from February of 1949. Wow. Mm. Cool cover. I like the cover. It's probably it only looks like in pretty a, good shape. One though. or two, something like that at the best. Clearly needs to be cleaned, if nothing else. All right. That's so cool. This is pretty cool. All right. Again, this was from February of 1949. Man, I, this is a title I never knew existed, but I, I saw this, so I took this. This, this is probably like a 0.5 or something because the cover is in pretty bad shape, at least at the bottom part. But the top is nice. And it's a Captain Marvel storybook. All right. Um, this book is, let me see, I wrote it down. This is from December 1948. Oh. You know? And again, it's probably like a 0.5 or something like that. But I only paid like, I think, $15 for it. So. What the hell is he punching out? Some kind of bird thing? Yeah, like some sort of bird, kind of bird man bird or something. And as it says here, new, exciting, and different. So uh, I guess they're the gargoyle men. I think that's what he, they're calling them. See? Okay, those are neat. The gargoyle men, yeah. yeah. So I haven't opened this up to take a look at it, but nice. pretty cool. And, you know. and the last one, this is also kind of a point five that I got, is Captain Midnight. From November 1946, Ooh. Captain Midnight number 46. Yeah. Oh, wow. And That's you can an see your face a lot of cover. damage up here and all this, you know. Uh, some of the thing is missing here. So this is just something where I saw it. I knew about Captain Midnight. And uh, I just say it's from November 1946. Again, probably another 0.5 or something like that. Not that I'm really like almost it was like magazine size, eh? It's bigger, you know. It's a gold. It's a golden age, and they're they're bigger, generally. Yeah. To what they have. That's so, a nice um, book. Yeah. So it's a nice book to have, and yeah, I probably have maybe a good ten or so golden age comic books. Not too many, but these are the ones I come across. If I come across something like this, uh, you know, less than twenty dollars. Well, you know, why not? Absolutely. You know, I usually pick it up. I, you can't find them all the time. But, but there's a lot of people who don't want to get point fives for whatever reason. I'm there for one of these like yeah. this. Now, I also bought uh, two slabs from uh, my comic shop. We know what one And of them is. Trev, the shipping guru, guessed it correctly why I wasn't sending that Adam Hughes in is because mm. I actually got one, but it's the sketch cover. Oh, wow. 9.6. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, nice. very cool. Yeah, it's a 9.6. Uh, and this is a you know Jeff John's story, Amanda Connor and Jimmy Palmieri art and Adam Hughes cover. And it says there, sketch cover. So this is pretty Fantastic. cool. Fantastic. Yeah, very cool. Well, I might still send that one in. I don't know, because I kind of like it, and I was looking for it for a long time. I'll, when I work on it, I'll decide whether I think it's worth sending in or not. Because um, these, these are not high cost type of thing. So I kind of go for what I can get. And the other one, I'm not a 90s guy. I don't like all the shiny stuff. Sorry, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Bling, bling, but, bling, um, bling, bling. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm not looking at the chat, but uh, I'm sorry, but I will. Oh, H H A Q. thanks for coming by. Thanks a lot. Uh, something's going on here. Let's see. We got an ooh. Gary, I'm noticing the same. Have to close. What? Something's going wrong with the oh, chat? Scrolling. Oh, my God. Scrolling. Well, YouTube will hear from me after this. Uh -huh. But so I'm not a big 90s, you know, the shiny stuff. And I'm not a big Superman, you know, when he came back from the dead, suddenly he was like, had the long hair and the mullet and the rest of that stuff. But I saw this and it was like, what did, what did I pay for this? Wait a minute. I wrote it down here too. I paid $16 for this. Wow. <laughs> so, you know, I'm saying, okay. This for a is, slab? $16 this is, for a slab. Right. This is Superman number 82 from, 19, from 1993. Uh, Reign of the Superman. Superman back for good. It's, it's a variant cover. Um, and it's the chromium cover. Right on. See? Okay. Tina, shiny. Yeah, Tina, shiny, would be, shiny. Tina would like that. 
That's so nice. I mean, so guys, for sixteen dollars and a nine zero, so and yeah. a nine zero for sixteen dollars, it's maybe it's worth twenty five. I don't know, but it clearly is, I clearly paid less than its value. Same thing for the uh, for the sketch cover, um, and of course, the never ending battle rages on every week in the four Superman titles: Adventures of Superman, Action Comics, Man of Steel. <laughs> So you do some good voiceovers. Yes, it's up for sixteen dollars. You know what I mean? Come on, yeah. You know? Yeah, that's nice fantastic. Shiny. So that's cheaper than my cheapest slab, which was twenty dollars for a Nottingham number three. Okay, yeah. there you go. Yeah. So what did I pay for the for oh for the and the, for that GS for that JSA um, classified? I did pay forty three. A lot of money, but this was sixteen dollars. <laughs> that's and that's my first round. Not as good as uh, Milt's for sure, no. but no, it's no, mine no, and I'll keep no. it. Mark's yeah. had the best so far. No, mine but had no not at you can't all. Count them, you know, you can't count it. Well, what's Chris. funny? You had that Captain Midnight. I remember when I was growing up. Eric Clapton does a song called "After Midnight." Oh, after and midnight, I, we're gonna yeah. let it all hang out. I know it. I, I used to always think that he was saying Captain Midnight, but the... <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Captain you Midnight. Go. For the next espresso mail call, we'll do After Midnight as Captain Midnight. How do you like that? Let's do it. That's what we'll do. We'll practice. Captain Midnight. See that? We got it. We'll do some <laughs> harmonies too. It'll work out really good. All right. <laughs> Thank you. And yes, Jackson Roy Clark is correct. Nobody can top Milt. We try. Yeah, we, try. we try. Mark and Steve come close. That's why they put me after Milt every damn time. Nah, Mark always has the best. Uh -uh. No, I don't. No. Yes, you do. <laughs> well, now Mark there's a lot of pressure open. on me for round two. Round two, Mark. Let's go. Round two. Okay. I'll, I'll Bring see the what I can do. Bring the so, thunder. You know how uh, we talk about there's always different places to go looking for comics at like uh -huh. LCS is obviously in the long boxes and the dollar boxes, but it's really good to wander through antique malls and flea markets and stuff. Yeah. So a little while ago, I was wandering through an antique market and uh, this one uh, stall or booth didn't have comics or anything. But then I noticed, wait, that's a comic in the back display booth. And uh, it wasn't for very much money, but I thought I should get it. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so I think that's a good point. Yeah. How much was it? It wasn't very much. <laughs> and in your money, it was nothing. It's even cheaper. Yeah. It's even cheaper. So 1968, it's the the uh, Iron Man Submariner, Submariner number one. This is the book that led uh, into these two guys' very own series. And, you know, I have that. I bought that book when I was a kid. I have that one. Yep. And the, I think I put on one of my shows. The history of that is that they had these two stories. <laughs> they didn't know what to do with it. Yep. So <laughs> they, they, said, put oh, them we, in we launched them in their own magazines. Let's do this thing together. Yep. People will buy it. And, and we'll put the two go. stories in there. So I can't emphasize, like, if, if you got a flea market, if you got, even if they don't even talk about comics, take a walk through. Because cool things like that. Great pickup. Cool. Great and, and cool things like this. Look at that. David Bowie, my friend. Yep. <laughs> we'll uh, pop in for like, so this is 1986. Um, and this is a hard book to get. Like, this is one of those books that people um, ask way too much money for on eBay yeah. and sites. So I was pretty pleased to pick that up. Now, just because Steve needs a new rabbit hole. Bring it. So Steve, you know close your eyes and plug them for your ears. So you know how some there's different things that happen in the movies, right? Like movies. movies. Not that's what makes a movie movies. good, Mark. You know what? That's what makes a movie good if different yeah. things happen in it. Different things happening. So I don't know how many of you saw Christian Bale and his very first movie, um, Empire of the Sun. Nope. It, if you haven't seen it, it's an amazing movie. He's a young kid. It's a World War II drama. It's it is just really cool, but okay. he's he loves airplanes in that movie. He's his all he's all about the airplanes and stuff. 
and he car- he gets captured by the Japanese and he's put in an internment camp by himself. And he, the story is about him surviving in this internment camp. And in his suitcase, if you watch the movie, when he unpacks his suitcase, when he gets into one of the first residences where he's yeah. staying in, in the internment camp, there's a comic book in his suitcase. Really? Yes. Which comic book is it, Mark? And it's this comic book. Oh, wing. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yep, so seen those before. this is, which is interesting, because actually this is a 1947 comic book. <clears throat> so there's absolutely no way he could have had this comic book unless he had a time machine. But this is the comic book. And I assume that they liked it because of the display and the, you know, like it's a Japanese yeah. hero. And anyway, so if you watch that movie and you see Christian Bale inside his suitcase, there's this book. Nice. Pretty cool. So Those because, Wings comics are really cool comics. Yeah. yeah. So what's kind of neat, if you watch movies that aren't any related and suddenly you see like a, a prop or a book. So I don't know how many of you have seen Catch Me If You Can with Tom Hanks. and uh, Great uh, movie. Yeah, yes. great movie. Do you remember there's a scene when Tom Hanks is talking to Leo through a glass on a phone, Milt? Yes. And he's, He's asking because the character calls himself, um, he gives some uh, aliases that are familiar to a character in a comic book. And this is the scene. Oh, the Flash comic. (laughs) And this is the book. There you go. Nice. So I just thought this is kind of cool to find like the not book. not props that they make up a comic book to be in the movie but comic books that are actually used in the comic so or in the movie in the so movie, what would be really yeah. cool someday i'm gonna hunt down tom hanks and I, i'm gonna get him to sign this that's cool yeah that was a great movie and they had a, he, had a, few flash, he yeah. had a bunch of flash books on the on the desk when he was going through them yeah and that's yeah. the one that he holds up to the glass mark mark look what chris bigger wrote I know. <laughs> Must have hurt you. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to quickly go through my. Li- There's just about four more books, Joe, and then I'll be done. This one um, I went looking for and found because Joe inspired me again. This is nice. the only Monsters yeah. Unleashed that Neil Adams Ooh. did. Isn't that beautiful? It I is. What number is that? Um, this is a uh, uh, number. Or it's November, so I think it's number three. Uh, Watch my video, Milt. And you'll yeah, see all the information about it. I think yes. it's number three. Neil Adams sadly only did one cover for this series. There's only eleven issues. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of a who's who on this on this series of artists who did different covers. But I really like the way Neil Adams did um, Man yeah. Thing. It's just it's just an awesome. And Mel, this is up right up your rally because you have one of the uh, nice little girls there in the front too. See that? Yeah, and there's a Neil Adams <laughs> girl. Green dress in distress. Yes. And just because also I, I really enjoy Rabbit Hole. Rabbit Hole. Rabbit Hole. I love I love this 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 cartoon. This is Dudley <laughs> Oh, that's that is so great. <laughs> that Number is awesome. one. And these are really not oh. expensive. Like they're yeah. no, awesome. I used to love watching Dudley Do Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and so nil, nil. Nil. I got three more books. I'm going to quickly go through that. I just, uh, I got an opportunity. Uh, a fella came into my LCS, my local LCS, and he was selling his collection. And uh, I got a call and uh, they asked me if I was interested in any of them. And I got first refusal on them. So I went, oh, sure. That, uh, they look okay. I think I'll buy those. And uh, this is one of them. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this is um, the first appearance of Big Wheel, which okay. is a huge super Spider-Man villain that you've never heard of, and he was only in two issues. <laughs> but and not based on the toy reason, that we used to ride around in in kids, the Big Wheel. Right. For some reason, Big Wheel didn't really catch on, which I, I wonder can't why. Understand it. I don't know. It's a big it, giant like, golden wheel, man. Yeah. It's a anyway. So where's that one? And then um, because of like first appearances. I had an opportunity to pick this one up again. Nice. Yeah. yeah. That number was a one, good one. Yeah, number one first appearance of the Shocker. 
And the last one I picked up, and Milt would like this because there's a female on the cover. <laughs> Guys, that's oh, a good yeah. one. First that's one. Gary. That's Gary. Gary. Where are you, Gary? That's Gary B. Gary must have about 10 there. copies of that one. Oh, I yeah. would think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, you know, when these things fall in your lap, it's kind of hard for you to, to not go. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. Excellent. Sure. I'll take it. So that's all I got. Good. Good picks. Oh, okay. You're done. Okay. Well, I think so. Unless you wanted to see this one, that's a coloring book. Another one. Oh God. Now no, what's it's actually a coloring book. Where's that yep. from? Uh, the, well, from Britain. Look at look at the name of the turtles at the top. Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Oh, that's mm -hmm. how you know that it's a British book because they weren't. Ninja Turtles. Ninja well, Turtles. They spell coloring too. I think, and they like, spell coloring yeah. with a U. Yeah. So all the British Teenage Mutant Ninja Hero are, they're all heroes as opposed to ninjas. Right. Seth, stop that. Anyway. <laughs> I, I am not going down that rabbit hole. No. <laughs> and, and, and it's kind of neat. They're, they're, again, I found one that has never been colored. So the only time you will ever see in England this treat this group identified as ninjas is when they're advertising the movie otherwise they're all heroes they're never ninjas yeah yeah cool Gary b only has one of that black cat and it's yeah. a trio trio well, wow. i don't know what that one will, but it's a it's a good book gary i like it i knew you would um i i feel bad because i don't see sp oh yeah spider woman's right over my shoulder here gary Mm -hmm. Yep. There you go. There she is. Yep. yep. And She Hulk, that's another one of Gary's favorites. Yep. You know. She's right over top of me. It'll be nice to Gary because on Monday at 6 p.m., <laughs> <laughs> I am interviewing Gary with respect to his book, and uh, it's going to be something to behold. I only it's have about 75 people. questions. It's I got to pare it down. Spicy. <laughs> Very Milt, spicy. You're up, Milt. Yes. Bring some neat books. Okay. Uh, I just got a couple. Uh, that translates into six, seven, no, eight. No, actually, yeah, it does. Six. Uh, <laughs> Gary, you missed my Captain Marvel books. <laughs> this was a uh, Secret Wars from 2015 blank sketch cover that uh, somebody sent me knowing that I was a uh, Doctor Doom fan. Mm -hmm. And I thought it looked really great. Oh, look at uh, that. Yeah. Great. I like cool. that. And uh, that's one of my, by Andrew Dusso. Okay. Yeah. Almost looks Scotty Youngish again. Yeah, a little yeah. bit, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and here's here's another. This is a uh, David uh, Nakayama cover uh, variant that uh, it's just so. So good. Oh yeah. Well, the Wonder wow, Woman. That's nice. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I just damn, um, just like that one. Mm -hmm. I wonder then, why. I, I'm a big Zerdy guy, so uh, here's a Nathan Zerdy uh, Wolverine number forty. Oh man, oh, yeah. that's, that's nice. A beauty. Yeah, I just love the window in the back. Yeah, the stained yeah. glass window is cool. And then to go with it, he also did uh, this uh, Invincible Iron Man. Which has the uh, another the, cool one? Wind, another stained glass yeah. window. I like Damn. the virgins when they have the. Uh, Come on, Milt. And, uh, Gosh. and then uh, <laughs> I don't know. There, well, the there goes uh, Joe's channel. Yeah. <laughs> I you know, Tina's trying to figure out how to null Joe. <laughs> guys, this is a uh, another one that I like, and. Uh, it's a Wonder Woman Tasmanian Devil. A oh, Tina would man, that is cool. Like, I've never seen that one before. Oh, and there's a rabbit hole, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a lot of them. I, I'm not sure if I have this or not. And oh, then God. uh shop to the right. I have this, like, but uh, they let's just say somebody sent it to me. Uh Marvel Comics 1000. Mm. Uh the uh 1970s variant. That's cool. They yep. sent it to me because it has Howard the Duck in the bottom there. Yeah, I see him. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 
So that's all. Actually, I have these ones. Uh, just a couple. Yeah, here we go. Just one. Just one or two. No, this is a, <laughs> the winter edition of a comic book creator. It, oh, they nice. dedicated to uh, Steve Gerber and the world that he made. All kinds of it's just so freaking good. Yeah, Comic Creator is a good uh, a good magazine. Yes, and uh, Val uh, Merrick, or I'm not sure how to pronounce the last name. He did a great cover that I really like. So, oh look at that! Oh yes, oh, nice. nice. Wow. So it's one of those things. I don't know how I came across it, but uh, it was it was in some LCS I was in, and then. Uh, the uh, another Howard the Duck. Uh, now I actually uh, picked this one up myself here. It is a Howard the Duck uh, program uh, from a Delaware uh, convention, comic book convention back in 1977, and uh, the entire it's the covers by Gene Colan, but all kinds of great Howard the Duck stuff inside. I don't really feel like it's also signed by Steve Gerber, which is kind of nice. But Very nice. It's, oh, that's cool. Cool. Yeah. It's, wow. Um, you, you don't you don't see that too often, but it's kind of nice. And then I uh, the you guys did the Treasury uh, show, Joe, a couple weeks ago, right? And uh, I happened to. <laughs> I don't know why, but I didn't have this. And uh, I was down at Ides Entertainment in Pittsburgh, you know, about a week and a half ago. And I, I saw this and I said, hey, I don't have that. So I had to get it. It, it wasn't much, but it's not in the best of shape. But it's oh, the uh, oh. ama Amazing World of Superman, uh, the Metropolis edition. That's and cool. it's, a, it's a treasury size book. And uh, I think the cover's by uh, Kurt Swan, I think. Probably. It's a little bit different than usual for him. I, Slightly. Mean, I like that. It's a wraparound cover. It's it's kind of nice. but uh, So I had to add this to the collection. And that's all I have. Good. <laughs> I, I did pick up uh, an interesting thing. Uh, I thought that's all you had, Milk. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's all I have here. But uh, uh, what'd you pick up? Doug Bratton. Oh. And, and Doug, his, Doug uh, Bratton? Doug, <laughs> it took a little bit of lifting. <laughs> Doug, uh, Doug Bratton and his uh, oh my god, his uh, brother Dave. They're also uh, uh, ElfQuest fans. I found out when I was down at Reggie's uh, in November. And uh, that's cool. I like they Elfquest. sent me. I mentioned to them that I got a, a fantasy quarterly number one, which was the first appearance of them and uh, of Elf Quest. But they sent me a stack, and I'd like to personally thank them. I never got around to doing it, but it's Christ, it had to be like 20 issues of Elf Quest magazine, oh, nice. which was awesome, absolutely. And, uh, that's nice. Uh, so, it is. Doug, if you happen to watch this, Dave, uh, guys, thank you kindly. I guess I think I read somewhere on the CBC thing that uh, they're both down in uh, Florida helping their uh, grandpa or, yeah, grandpa maybe, or their yeah, dad. So. I'm not sure. Yeah, Somebody's so. celebrating their 100th birthday. Yeah. So, whoever right. the heck it is, that's, that's an accomplishment. It's their grandfather. I think you're right. Yeah, hope I make it to 100. Highly <laughs> unlikely, but uh, what the hell? All right. Steve, please. Enjoy the ride, Milt. <laughs> Enjoy the ride. Get the need. <laughs> I'm just going to show a couple of quick ones here. So, Yeah, we're at the hour mark already. Everybody yeah, loves to go to DJ Lynx's channel. So I'll be fast. <laughs> Transformers. Got to get that cool cover. That's another one of my comic shop picks. Nice. nice. There we go. Billy and the, Billy Billy and the Boingers yeah. bootleg. And what was that? I've never seen that. It's got the record. It's Bloom County. Oh, okay. County. It's got the and record. it's got the record. Yes. Yeah. 
Nice. I had a copy of this before, but it got destroyed in the water and stuff. And I, I got the record kicking around somewhere, but I found the replacement for like five bucks. So nice. I had to grab that. And then at work, I just do a shout out for one of my uh, fellow uh, technical instructors at the big TTC there. Um, ben, thank you. He gave me a whole bunch of these things. Oh, look at that. Wow, nice. You guys might recognize these things. These are the Marvel... 91 Marvel cards. I think they're series two or something. Yep. And a whole whack of them. Not not a complete set, not a full set of them. It's obviously missing number one. This I think it was Spider-Man. So this is number two. It's Daredevil. And they're in really like minty, minty shape right. as, as I'm sitting here folding the corners and <laughs> doing these things all up and messing them up. But I and thought that, that was pretty cool. And, and it's just a nice little AOK. <clears throat> and I even got a uh a great little shiny scrunchie to wrap them up in. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to sit there at my lunch break and put them all in order because they were just in a pile and I put them all in order. So they're, they're neat. So I'll probably do these things like giveaways and stuff on my channel because I'm not really into these. It's not a rabbit hole for me. Oh, look what Richard wrote. Now I'm jealous of all the things I've seen tonight. The cards did it. Oh, <laughs> Entered the contest that he has on his channel whenever he yep. has it. Yep. There you yep. go. There's all kinds of them in here. I don't know. I don't know what the value is on these things. I have no idea. I know they're kind of collectible. Some people really love collecting these things. But. Yeah, Richard. Richard, you're right. We used to do that with our baseball cards. Yep. Put flip them, them against the, the wall. You know, and then we used to flip them too. You know, but you Whoever see what Trev closest said? to the wall was the one who got both cards. Yeah. Can, yep. You see what Trev uh, wrote, Dusty? What do you write? I can use them to put my hair up. Yes. Not, not the cards, that little scrunchie. No, the nice scrunchie clip. Oh, this thing here. Yeah, yeah, so I can put my hair in a ponytail. It's getting really long. See, it's it's getting in my face. <laughs> and the very last thing. Now, I was sick and dying when um, Joe was doing his birthday uh, show. And Joe, you got to give me your address because I got to send this to you. Oh, cool. Look at that. Oh, nice. <laughs> Right. I looked a lot like uh like I know you like back in thing, the day. So yeah. I gotta show that photograph one to somebody. I don't know if I have a box big enough to send this down to you. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Thank so you. I'm gonna Thank have to get you. a slab box or something and put this in and mail it down to you in Very Florida nice. there. Yeah, I had the mustache and the curly hair. Did you? When you look just like hair. Mr. Cutter. <laughs> Mr. Cutter. Yeah, some of my students used to call me that at that time. Oh, Mr. Cater. I said, no, it's not Mr. Cater. Then when I walked in at one point in time, I said, my name is uh, Mr. Joseph Trovato. And somebody, one of the girls in there started screaming. I forgot what she said. But she started screaming that I was like one of these famous people or something like that. Vinny you know? Barbarino. Oh, John, he said, you're John Travolta? I said, no, I said, Joe Trovato, not John Travolta. Very close. Yeah, close. My brother. Close, but not quite. All right, Joe, bring us home. All right, but first, Paul, you had bottom belt. No, one day when I'm back in New York, I'll show you the the disco boots that I had with the platforms this big that I used to go to the uh, to the discos with, and I had to get my pants cut long enough so that they would cover the the shoes. Yes, you know? that's and incredible. so that's that's really, and I still have those shoes, a brown pair and a powder blue pair. Well, you're going to have to model those for us, Joe. Yeah. What's that? You're yeah. going to have to model those for us. I, oh, yeah. I, 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 I think so. Yeah, we'll do a 1970s show, and you have to dress up and show Bronze Age books. Yeah, I know, but if I the only pants that I have now, they'd, they'd go up to like, you know. <laughs> oh, we don't care. We, we, it, it, it'll still be worth it. It'll be fun. No, they didn't have fish bowls in them. I'll show them one day. Fish bowls. Yes. Fish bowls. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the only thing I have left is... Uh, Reggie every now and then gives away comic books that he gets for free from some of the publishers and all that. And so um, what he said on his last, I think it was the last Wednesday show, he said, okay, this person won, but if they don't contact me by Friday, uh, I'm probably going to give it away to, uh, to uh, my members, right? So I happen to have my phone in my hands and I see a pop-up. Reggie has just posted something, blah, 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 blah. So I go there and it says, 
If you're one of the first three people to send an email to uh, my email address, you get some of the books. So I said, oh, what the heck? So I sent an email and he writes back, you got it. You got it. So, nice. Okay. So he sent me, I just opened the box up. That's what I was doing before because they just came today, I think, or yesterday. He gave me four books. I don't know what they are. And probably when I show them to you, I still won't know what they are. But I got three <laughs> knowledgeable people here that probably can help me out. So the first one, what's this? The one hand from Image. I don't know what this is, but it looks kind That's of That's a cool. brand new one. Just came out this week. Yep. That's a brand new one yeah. this week. It's about a murder story in the future. 2300, 23 something, I think is yeah. the date. And well, uh, I'll read it then. Yes, had every Do you know if it's a limited damage. series? What's that, Joe? Do you know if it's a limited series? Yeah, it's a limited series. It's, I think, five issues or six issues only. All right. So then I'll read it. And if it's good, I will buy the limited series. And is then I'll three? give it away. Is it three? I think it's I only know. three. Oh, it's oh. only three. Oh, Even okay. better. Even better. Okay, anyway, so that's be good. It's, li it's, yeah. limit it's limited. It's short. Yeah. That's. I knew you guys would know this stuff. It's not I don't a big commitment, so you're good. Next yeah, one. Oh, look at this one. What's this? Aquaman number 35. I don't even, this is a shiny edition. Have any of you guys seen this before? Holy cow, that everything. is cool. Nope. Is, nope. Is that one of those reissue ones? Oh, I think so, because number 35 was a long time ago. You, well, well, Chris Bigger's in the chat. He'd know because it's DC. Do you know, Chris, <laughs> what this is? If you do, put it in like my memory. <laughs> yeah, it's shiny, shiny. Well, I'll look it up, but at least that's a, a comic that I might want to keep. <laughs> All right. And the next one. Oh, <laughs> this is up your alley, Steve. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. look, Steve. Dude. Absolutely. Yeah, that's the uh, the B cover. That's the B cover. You have this one, right? Remember. Oh, yeah, I got that one. Or that's. I don't know. If not, it was going to go to Canada. Get you two. No, that's the A cover for two. Can you uh, send it to Canada anyway, Joe? Because we just like to listen to you having such fun with our postal system. No, no. <laughs> Can't I'm get not past that wall. Me about $150. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Getting through our wall is a pain in the arse. <laughs> Enter gone. Okay. And the last one. Oh. G.I. Joe, a real American hero, number 301. Oh, yeah, there's a good cover. Damn. Don't have that cover. That's nice. Okay. Okay, and that's it. That's it for me for the second round. Uh, thank you, Reggie. I appreciate it very much. Nicely done, Reggie. Very good. Yeah. Okay, so that tired me out, this show. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so what do we have going on here? Uh, so, Milk, you mentioned something. You're going to be on Gary B's uh, show in a few weeks. What's going on? Yeah, I think it's like two weeks from uh, today. I'm going to be on Gary B's show, and we're going to do a 50-year uh, retrospect on How Howard the Duck. Nice. And, and wow. we'll be showing every Howard the Duck appearance. Everyone? Well, it's if be we have time, if we can go do it in an hour. Wow. How many short boxes? How many short boxes? Four. Four. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know. Uh, anything else, Milt? Uh, to be honest with you, I'm sitting here holding the power cord in because it says I'm low. I'm down to like 10% power. <laughs> so you may go disappear. Down. So if I disappear any second, guys, we, we will know why. Yeah. All right. Uh, Steve, how about you? What's coming up on your channel or elsewhere? Well, my wife just baked a cherry cheesecake, so I'm looking forward to that after this. Uh, Excellent. I got uh, my G.I. Joe series. has got a few more books on the Mondays. Okay. I got an unboxing now that I'm going to be able to post tomorrow of all the books that I showed today. <laughs> so I And I did the video a week ago, and then I explained that I'm doing it in the future, but it's in the past. <laughs> <laughs> to confuse the hell out of you, including myself. <laughs> and then I'll probably make some appearances on Gary B's on his Tuesday show. Can't do the Thursday night, though, because I got my classes, and that's about it for me. Great. Oh, I'm, I, one other thing. I, I oh, I'm sorry, Milt. Milt. Oh, sorry. 
Uh, Go ahead, Mel. I just remembered. I'm supposed to be on Rob's Fat Stacks. So. And, uh, and the the uh, only slabs. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, but it's all gonna. I'm gonna do all uh, uh, Western and military books, ar Ooh, army books. That'll be nice. cool. That'll be it's good. Kind of a ch change of pace since away from the superheroes a little bit. Nice, cool. Nice. I, and thank you, Chris. Chris got the information. A reprint of Back Manta's first appearance is dropped for the Aquaman 2 movie. The silver is limited to a thousand copies. Ooh, nice. There you go. Yeah. That's good. All right, Mark, how about you? You got anything coming up anywhere? Nope, nothing at all. I am uh, haven't been doing anything, Joe. In fact, I think the last thing I did was with you. So if you invite me back and or whatever, and my uh, we had a lot of stuff going on and things have settled down, I'm just back in the groove of teaching twice a week and trying to get by on a pensioner's income. Oh, yeah. Well, stop buying all those comic <laughs> books and maybe you can eat. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. All right. As I mentioned, uh, I think I mentioned this. The night Gary's going to be on <laughs> you may have. at 6 o'clock on my channel for an interview, 6 p.m. Eastern time on Monday, an interview about, and there's the end, an interview about this novella that he wrote, Need. All right. I've got about 75 questions. I got to pare it down a bit. Um, I'm going to try to pick the toughest ones and make Gary sweat. So make sure you show up. I am also working on a special Superman video. Um, I won't tell you what it's about. I'm almost done with it. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. But I'm almost done with it. But it has to do with a Superman from the 1950s. Ooh, what does that mean? What does that mean? So look for it. It might. I don't know if it's going to come out next week. I'm not sure I could finish it, but it might. You know, I mean, um, is it going to be a George Reeves special? Or? I'm not going to say, but it could be. <laughs> That's <laughs> me. And I also sent, if you remember, I had a video uh, a while back about uh, uh, like uh, Fantastic 452 and a few other ones that I might send into CGC. Mm -hmm. They came back today. I haven't oh, nice. Oh. yet. So I'm going to do a video to open up the books and see what the grades are. And, uh, you know, cool. They're not going to be high grades, but I sent in uh, the first appearance of Black Panther. I think that's 52, right? Yes. I sent in, um, and I, I cleaned and pressed all these things myself. I sent in, I forget the number now, the Green Lantern, the first appearance of, uh, of um, his name just flew out of my head. Guy of, uh, John, um, John Stewart. John Stewart, thank you. Of John Stewart. And um, when I was younger, I bought a whole bunch of copies of the, of the DC, the first DC Shadow series. Um, I've given a bunch of them away in the mystery boxes and so forth. So I had about three of them. I must have bought about 10. I bought, I don't know why. I just was number one. I said, I'm going to buy 10. I guess I thought I was spec on it or so forth. But anyway, so I, I had three of them that were in pretty decent shape. So I took the best one I had. Who did the art were, on that? Excuse me? Who did the art on that? I, I don't remember. But when Chaykin, I it up, isn't, I it, isn't it Kaluta? It could or be. Was it Chaykin, maybe? I don't know. I, I, thought, I, it was I, Mike, I thought it was Mike Kaluta, but I could be wrong. Right. I'll tell you in a second. Wait a minute. Because it was such a distinctive yeah. cover. They try, he tried to approximate you know, the pulp stuff and all of that. Um, but um, you know, as I think to, in some, to some extent he did. All right, I'm just looking it up real quick. Yeah, Denny O'Neill wrote it. Yes, Kaluta. Good. Michael Kaluta. Yeah. I really like those covers, those early issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're pretty cool. So those are the three I sent in. That one I'm hoping for at least something like a eight-ish or something like that, you know? Cool. Uh, the John the John Stewart one, you know. Yeah, you know, that one, and you know, if I get like a, a six on that, I'd be happy. Uh, and the, the FF fifty two, you know, was from my childhood and stuff like that. And it's you know, you root know, for a three it. five. Yeah, <laughs> well, I always hope for a four, and yeah, I'm surprised sometimes. I've gotten sixes, fives yeah. on some of them, 
Um, but uh, hopefully that'll be come out okay too. So that was the one that I sent in. So that look for that. Um, I guess maybe that will be on next week if it takes me more time to do the uh, Superman uh, from the 1950s one. Three, okay. Three, and five. with that, I want to thank my mailmen here. You guys did a great job, as always. I mean, I, I always enjoy this be, this show because I get to see things that I would never otherwise see, you know. And you guys know so much about uh, about the comic books. It just enlightens me. And the chat, although most people left at 9 o'clock to go to DJ Lewis's channel. In the mix, I appreciate you stopping by. I appreciate the people that stuck by with me. Uh, his Kenneth. Uh, hi, Kenneth. Thanks for coming by. Uh, I appreciate you all. Uh, thanks for uh, Evil Mike becoming the newest member of the channel with all the money that we collect goes to charity to St. Jude's Hospital Research Hospital for Children with Cancer and the Tunnel to Towers Foundation. So I appreciate you there. Appreciate you all. So thanks a lot. And with that, I think uh, we're going to say uh, goodbye. Have a good Bye. one. And we'll see you again next month for another show. Take care. Be safe.